I'm taking advantage of the frozen mud this morning to get some things rearranged and moved in so we can take off. Well, that's the last step. We're ready to go. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? I don't know. Somewhere warmer, somewhere greener. The goal is that when we get back, this is gone. All right, we just washed the truck. We're getting ready to return this thing, but it won't start. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I uh, put a new starter in it back when I changed the motor mounts, and uh, now apparently that starter's broken. I don't know, the starter's making a really positive click like it's supposed to. The solenoid is engaging, but the motor's not turning. So it just so happens that the car wash is right by AutoZone. Courtney is pulling the camper over. She's gonna pull me out into that parking lot, out of the car wash, and we're gonna get this thing swapped out. <laughs> Not on the phone for Okay, I had them test the starter I pulled out and it did in fact test bad. The starter that I put in in December. I got a new starter, I paid for the better one. Who knows if it's actually better. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. Courtney's <laughs> claiming to be my good luck charm, so she's <laughs> gonna start it. Are you ready? Yep. Woo, okay, we're done. Like Somebody is really excited to be getting in the camper. With the plow truck returned to its owners, we had a few modifications to make to the camper before we could hit the road. After installing our new Alpha Rex headlights and making a quick repair to our roof rack, we were finally on our way. <laughs> what are we up to, Courtney? We're in a truck stop in Montana. I'm having a hard time falling asleep because our fan is really squeaky. Like, so squeaky. I think you guys can hear the noise, but it's very high-pitched and very annoying. Even Boone doesn't like it. He doesn't look very bothered. Okay, good first step. It says stops squeaks right on the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think this is the right tool for the job? This is the right tool for the job. <laughs> Bailey looks really concerned by what you're doing. Update. Courtney, tell us, tell us what's going on now. It's louder, it's more squeaky. <laughs> Can you guys hear it? It sounds like there's crickets in our camper. Nomad life isn't always glamorous. Courtney and I were saying goodbye to this truck stop that we stayed in last night. It was actually a pretty nice spot. My phone said that with the wind chill, it's like negative four out right now. Oh no, it's definitely stuck. Can we spray it with hot water? We got the road sledge off, but the um, water was freezing like the instant it hit the truck, even though it was heated. So it wasn't really effective in getting anything else off.
somewhat unexpected. We are on a very major highway that has not been plowed. We came in on the turn and it was just like all of a sudden it, the truck was unstable, the car coming at us was sideways. Oh. Was big Do you guys see that? That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, there was just big horn sheep in the road. Okay, so Cordy and I were driving along, and when I saw a sign for a ski area, I pointed out, and Cordy said, well, let's pull over, let's check it out. So we pulled in to the Lost Trail Powder Mountain Ski Area, and we're a bit confused. The parking lot is completely empty, the place is deserted, but there's a foot of fresh snow on the ground. It turns out they were closed today, but they're gonna be open in full operation tomorrow. Should be a bluebird day, cold temperatures. I think it's gonna be epic. There's even a sweet overnight lot for campers. Awesome. This is one of my favorite parts about having a truck camper at the ski resort and when they have an overnight lot that just makes the ski resort that much better. It's the high today was 8 degrees. The low tonight is negative 11. We're getting ready for a cold night. So I think this is going to be our new all-time low. We'd like to thank ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. We've spent over a year living in our camper with a really small chest style refrigerator. And one of our biggest nightmares is leaky meat packages that drip all over everything. So when we discovered ButcherBox, it was a no brainer. We love that everything arrives frozen and vacuum sealed. We built a custom box that arrived right to our door, well, my sister's door, and easily packed into the camper. It takes the hassle out of shopping and means that we always have a few options ready to cook. You can choose from grass fed beef, organic chicken, pork, and wild caught seafood. And the average cost is less than six bucks per meal. If you sign up right now, you'll get two pounds of ground beef added to your box for the lifetime of your membership, which I'm excited about because tacos and burgers are some of my favorite meals. So use the link below to sign up today and see how, just how easy filling your freezer can be. And thanks again to ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. What are we having for dinner tonight? Bacon? Can we have bacon for dinner? We successfully survived our negative 15 degree night, but we do have a problem. Our water is frozen, our drain is frozen, and I can't get to my skis. Step one, get to the skis, we'll worry about the rest later. So we haven't had water freezing problems in this camper since we were in negative eight degree weather and we made a few changes that had solved that problem, but I think it just got so cold last night that the problems reappeared. Oh, this is an epic day on the mountain. The ski resort is awesome. Killer views, tons of fresh powder. I haven't skied a day like this in a long time. Oh yeah. Woo! All right, I gotta put the camera down. So that is the entire parking lot. We are parked Right back here in the van lot. Hi, Courtney. This rope tow is giving me so many ideas. All of the idlers are made out of car wheels and trailer bearing parts. And then there's just like a big gear reduction between different wheels and belts down to a big electric motor. It's so simple. But we could definitely build one. That is the safety device. It's a hula hoop clamped to a rope and the cord is tied on it. So if the hula hoop gets pulled, it unplugs the cord from the motor. <laughs> this thing's awesome. One of the best parts about a winter road trip is we usually get the pick of the campsites. We got this super cool site last night along the Salmon River with the place to ourselves. That's because no one else is crazy enough to do this. <laughs> yeah. The last two nights, it's been so cold out that some of our plumbing has frozen. <laughs> this is a problem that we've not had very often, but, um, we're gonna see now if our plumbing's frozen again. We've been able to get it defrosted every time using Courtney's hairdryer. The night before it was like negative 10, but with a lot of wind. Last night it wasn't windy and it was only like negative two or three. 
Hey, it works. Woo! And the hot? Awesome. Woo! You getting serious? I haven't showered in a really long time. <laughs> My hair is really gross. <laughs> Don't tell you to. What's the weather, Courtney? Cold-ish? Not that cold. Not, cold, that, cold. not that cold. Yeah, I think we're on the right track. This water's pretty warm. Scooping it out. Now we gotta make it down the hill. We made it back to the camper and we are headed onwards, hopefully to find somewhere that the dogs can have some fun. Would you go in that water? Heck no. That was about the dirtiest meal I've eaten in a long time. <laughs> that was so good. I had fries, curly fries, chicken tenders, steak tenders, fried zucchini, fried mushrooms, uh, cheese curds, uh, some kind of jalapeno popper thing. <laughs> Central Idaho has been awesome. There's like no one here. Every campground is empty. There's no one. My to-do list for the rest of the day, it's two o'clock, is to find a good campsite, take a shower, clean the truck. And we don't have cell service, so we don't have internet, and that's kind of a good thing. We don't need diesel, but we're getting diesel because we found the cheapest gas station yet. Onward. Okay, you guys, we had to stop at this hot spring because it is freaking cool. Oh my goodness. Riley's hand test said it's good, so we're gonna go in. That is very warm. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, it is very warm. There's this pipe that you divert the water off. Oh, that's getting better already. Courtney just dared me to jump in the river. And he said no. I said, no way, man. Then he dared me to jump in the river, so I said, okay, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, right here. You guys have to drop in the comments how far you think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy, babe. Are this is insane. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm not trying to go under! <laughs> Important to the towel. She earned it. Courtney, what's the best part of traveling with a camper? Hot shower, kitchen, bathroom, <laughs> heater, hot shower. So on our way out of town, we had to uh, make one last trip back to the property and we ended up having to turn around on a super narrow part of the road. I was backing up, started sliding, slid into the snowbank and crunched in this box. Definitely bummed about that. When I built this bumper, I had full intentions on sort of building this little bash guard deal that came down to protect the boxes and then tied back into the hitch. But we were so eager to leave on our trip that it just never happened. And I always thought maybe I'd add it later. You know, I think I can fix this box, but obviously not on the road. I'm gonna do my best right now to try to bang this thing back into shape and screw it together with some little angle brackets so we can at least keep using it on the rest of our trip. For now, this is a project that's gonna have to wait for another day because I'm just not gonna be able to push, push this thing back into shape. We all appreciate a clean camper. Well, maybe not Boone, but the rest of us do. It's not always glamorous. It was laundry day today, so we're gonna take the dogs for a walk while we wait to switch it over. before where we <laughs> thought we could make it and we didn't even come close. I'm feeling optimistic this time and I think we should go for it. I don't know why you're feeling optimistic. <laughs> I don't know you guys I'm torn. I don't want to get stuck but also we built this camper to explore so sometimes you just got to go for it. Motorized travel not recommended when wet or muddy. Where does slushy fit in? Um, so I just took a little walk and anywhere we leave just the immediate road surface where the two tracks already are It is just swamp mud and we don't want to get stuck. Uh, I don't think mountain biking is gonna work out either So I think we're just gonna back out <laughs> I can't keep up with them Why are you putting your hair up? When I put a king size bed in this camper, I didn't think about how hard it was gonna be to stuff a king size duvet in the camper. It's so hard. It's like wrestling a bear. Okay, I'm 
gonna roll it. <laughs> Amazing. What happened to the Instant Pot? It's just standard practice. <laughs> standard operating procedure. I don't think that's standard. Yeah, you can just kind of wipe it a little bit. <laughs> then it looks normal. All right, let's see it. How'd you do? Pasta. So yeah, I figured out that you can cook pasta in an Instant Pot by just barely covering the top of the pasta with water and setting it to pressure cook for one minute and then you don't have to drain it, which means it uses less power because you have to boil less water and there's less cleanup because you don't have to drain it into a colander and all that nonsense. Okay. And it uses less water. So it's really, it makes it easier to cook pasta in the camper. <laughs> okay, going up that's gonna be interesting. You're a mountain goat. <laughs> Ah. Can't get them. There's so many. They're very stuck to your pants. I thought we were escaping mud season, but I'm intrigued enough to keep going, so. We just turned on Main Street. <laughs> Main Street is a dirt road. We have been going, going, going for more than a week now, and we're exhausted. So today we are going to lay in bed, we're gonna watch YouTube, we're gonna eat pizza, and we're gonna go to bed early. And we're gonna do all that in our beautiful campsite. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect Sunday to me. This area has some of the craziest rock formations I have ever seen. Those are wild horses. So, that's really cool. Guys, we just saw wild horses. That is so cool. You almost got me! <laughs> Sometimes we plan campsites totally ahead of time and sometimes we're just driving by and we go this looks really cool and this is one of those. We have an entire lake to ourselves. Boone is losing his mind and it's time to let him out.
these were on our Amazon Boone wish list, and I didn't think we were gonna get to test them out this soon. Ready? What is going on this morning? <laughs> I don't know. I woke up and the dogs were in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. I got up like at 3.30 because I was just tossing and turning. It happens to me pretty often when I'm excited about a project and I'm excited right now because we have been working a lot on our future plans for power at our property and uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff in the works. So can't wait to share that with you. Goodbye, beautiful campsite. We're on to some hot springs, hopefully. After building all winter, this trip was exactly what we needed. And while it's not quite over yet, we'd be lying if we said we weren't already itching to head north and get back to work. We've got big plans for this spring, and we can't wait to start sharing them with you.